You know, it's no secret that the first to Nick Kart Racers was a disaster, or that the second game was a major improvement. A third game was bound to happen at some point, but what could be done to redeem this series? Transforming mechanics? Pfft. Voice acting? Well, that is kind of important for this kind of game, especially with these larger-than-life characters. No, but I was thinking something bigger than that. I simply must give props to my design team. Oh, yeah! This is happening! Considering how much praise Game Mill got for including Jenny in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, it was a no-brainer to add her to Kart Racers Free. Her stage and moveset are still the best parts of NASB. Sorry Rocco, but you take second place for best stage. There's no surprise that the Teenage Robot series was going to get some sort of representation in Nick Kart Racers Free and representation it got. Jenny got her own track with the Goop Zone from the Teen Team Time episode, as well as appearing on the games of various menus and box art. The box art is especially a big deal, cause after all these years, this is the first time Jenny has been featured on a cover of a video game. But the point of today's video is to showcase the various easter eggs and references to the Teenage Robot series in the game. Before we get started, I want to thank the Teenage Robot fanbase for bringing me on to do this video. As a big fan of this classic series and talk about it wherever possible on my own channel, I do appreciate the opportunity. But without further ado, let's get into it, starting with Jenny's animations. When customizing a vehicle, Jenny uses her headphones. These appear in various episodes throughout the series. Call hating is one of the few that comes to mind. During a race, and upon winning said race, Jenny will pull out some swords in a variety of poses, which are also seen in multiple episodes, prime examples being Raggedy Android and Doom with a view. There are many other animations in the game, but I'm not entirely sure what episodes they specifically originate from. However, her most iconic pose, which was even used in Nick Brawl, alongside this dance animation, I think that's what this is, from the Missed Opportunities episode, both making an appearance in NKR Free. Moving on from animations, we've got customization options. Now, I'm not gonna go into stats and all that, cause why would we? We're just gonna go over the cosmetics today. First off, Jenny has her own bike called the XJ Scooter. Pretty slick ride, eh? One that features three sets of wheels in three different colors called the Roller Blades, which is a reference to the, well, Roller Blades she uses in various episodes, including the Pilot. While the description is a reference to the Victim of Fashion episode, this line would also be said during the gameplay. Regarding exhaust pipes, Jenny has two sets. The XJ Laser Pipes, which comes in three colors, references Jenny's primary way of getting around in the shortest amount of time. And then the XJ Loudspeakers, which comes in only two colors and references this moment in Unlicensed Flying Object. Moving on to paint jobs, Jenny's is The Great Unwashed, referencing the episode of the same name, Gosh, now I wish the game had proper skins. That would have been awesome. This paint job comes in the normal fire red colors and also cyan. The fact those are the only two colors this one comes in is pretty suspicious to me. Also, what color is cyan even supposed to be? Is it blue? White? A bluish white? Man, I'm kind of glad I haven't played Among Us yet, cause I'd probably exclusively be driving everyone insane by asking who's Cyan. Anyways, among the number of chiefs, crew engineers, and mechanics, there are three teenage robot characters, all of them being chiefs and granting different abilities. Basically Smash Ultimate, but in racing form. Brad serves as a chief that gives a slime token when you hit an opponent. The more you collect, the faster you go and can unlock different things in the garage. 
Queen Vexus is an attack chief that gives you triple Vexus nanobots to shoot at opponents. The nanobots are a reference to Hostile Makeover. Wait, after all she's tried doing to Jenny, we're really asking for her help here? Well, maybe she's trying to fool her like Plankton tried in multiple Spongebob episodes. You used me for land development! Vexus is unlocked after completing the Escape from Cluster Prime challenge, named after the special of the same name, which actually won an Emmy award. Seriously, Nickelodeon, why ain't you- oh, never mind then. And finally, Nora Wakeman is my go-to chief. Inconceivable. Using Vexus's nanobots to increase speed and acceleration. This is honestly a fun one to use when swapping back and forth between power-ups. That's actually about it for all the visual references, so let's move on to the audio-based references starting with the track's theme. Like quite a few of the game's tracks, they each try to incorporate some aspects of the show's respective themes. For example, Danny Phantoms has cues from both the show's intro and credit sequences. Jenny's is no different. It perfectly captured the feel of the show's music, particularly the show's intro, which I did try to follow along with multiple times. The rest of the references are purely spoken by Jenny, so what I did is I compiled as many as I could into a montage and placed the respective episode's title cards on screen as they're being said. As of right now, this is all I could find, so enjoy! Work, work, work! It's the brain that makes the robot, not the number of upgrades. So, dance. Wanna? I've heard of playing hard to get, but hard to hang on to? Now I'm late for the Sadie Hawkins dance. Is someone making you do this? My mom's so smart. Tired of playing dolls, Vexus? Being up on the latest trends is useless unless you got the look. I simply must give props to my design team. It's better to be fashionable than functional. I think I saw those potato sacks in the second hand store last year. That tickles. Will you turn the knob on my back, please? Hey, little fella, have you seen a fire-breathing monster around here? Are you a teenager who goes to high school and meets tons of other kids and hangs out with them? That shine, that bumper, what a dreamboat! Wow, an all-robot planet sounds pretty great! When you see someone trying to get change back from a possessed snack machine, I'll be there! As long as anyone needs my help, I'll be here. Ready to surrender? Oh my gosh! I enjoyed a glass of orange juice for the first time! It tasted like apple! It's time you start dreaming about electric sheep! I'm in total control! It's just nice to feel needed! That was horrible! I guess you know all about me! This is for the one person who never lost faith in me! And with that said everyone, that's all the Teenage Robot Easter Eggs and references in NKR Free. I know the game released back in October, so we're several months late to this party. Speaking of, the secondary taunt that was added to Nick Brawl that references the Raggedy Android episode, <laughs> what a meme. Anyways, I've been your narrator, Blue Knight, thanks for watching and I'll leave you with some gameplay. this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.